Hey everybody, it's Wednesday, June 16th, 2021. You're watching Bull Boom Bear Bust. We've got a special report for you today. We're going to talk about the dominance of Amazon, but not just that, how they got there. And we're going to talk about their delivery driver and go into the day in the life of a delivery driver. Now, today's report is going to be a little bit different than our typical update. We're going to start branching out into some different topics here on this channel. Uh, for those that don't know, my subscriber growth has really, really hit a wall here in the past few months. and I'm not sure why. It could be that somebody reported me. They didn't like my reporting or they didn't like my forecast or my opinions. Um, but whatever the case, I'm going to try to uh, branch out a little bit into some different type of reporting. So I think you'll find this very interesting today. And Amazon is actually surpassing Walmart this year as far as being the most dominant in retail. But it's not all a pretty story when you look at the drivers and uh, what their day is like. Now, first of all, a couple quick announcements. I want to thank Barbara from Temecula, California and Asbury from Duluth, Georgia. Thank you very much for the books uh, that you sent to my P.O. box. And I'll be honest, I'm a, a bit late or behind on my reading. But uh, they look both look like some very interesting books. So I'm going to have to dive into those as soon as I get a chance. Now, first of all, let's talk about Amazon, and you get various opinions on this. Some people say Amazon deserves everything they get because they have the best shipping, the most, uh, the biggest selection of products, you know, fast shipping. But it's so big now, Amazon is so big, they're going to be surpassing Walmart this year in total retail numbers. And they even have places like this. You see an Amazon Fresh pickup drive through location. And we know that Americans love driving through. They love um, convenience, easiness, and speed. And now picking up groceries is becoming a lot more simple with Amazon. Now, Walmart, they can also pick up groceries there. But why is Amazon growing so much faster than Walmart? Well, let's take a look at some numbers. First of all, just looking at e-commerce, we see that Amazon has dominated now for many years and they even dominated more fiscal year 2020 versus 2019. They were 48% in 2019. Amazon in fiscal year 2020, 51.2% share of e-commerce. And Walmart's just 5.6%. But here's where it gets interesting. Fiscal year 2020, Amazon surpasses Walmart in total percent share of consumer spending. And this is all together, not just online or e-commerce, but total. So Amazon is now bigger than Walmart as far as percent share of total consumer spending. Now, why do so many people love Amazon? Well, a big part of it, not just the selection, which they have millions of items, but the shipping speed. But it's not all a rosy picture here. The average delivery driver for Amazon works 10 hours a day. We're going to talk about that a little bit more here in a few minutes and get into the day of a Amazon driver. Now, here's another example of how big Amazon is. Amazon's $1 billion in daily sales highlights market dominance. Now, BigCommerce.com put out these facts about Amazon, and I'm just going to read through the ones that really caught my attention. And number one, nine out of 10 consumers price check on Amazon. So you're shopping in a store, or you're shopping online and you look at a website and you compare the price to what you can get it for on Amazon. And surprisingly, a lot of times it's cheaper on Amazon than you can get it at the manufacturer's website. Now, why is that? Well, Amazon buys in bulk. So they get a bulk rate from the manufacturer, or from the distributor. And they can turn around and sell it for less because of that on their own site. And in some cases, now you always want a comparison shop because I have found cases in situations where it was actually cheaper to go elsewhere outside of Amazon. So it is good to uh, price compare, uh, maybe get an app on your device or on your computer that shows price comparisons. There's some pretty good ones out there right now for shopping. Also, they're making it easier to buy products here. 2% of Echo owners, that's the Alexa uh, app there, 2% uh, of those owners have shopped and bought things through Alexa. So just with their voice, not having to type any anything in their computer, nothing like that. Um, Amazon sells more than 12 million products. I mean, what a huge, huge selection. And get this one, this one blew me away. 95 million people have Amazon 
Prime memberships, and it's a lot more than just fast shipping and free shipping. Amazon Prime, you get uh, video streaming and uh, lots of other perks and uh, features being a Prime member. Yeah, so 95 million. That really is an amazing number. Also, Amazon has just mega warehouses across the U.S. The company has over 100 active warehouses and new ones popping up all the time throughout the United States. And here's a map out of CNBC that just shows you some of the locations and some of the plan locations of the warehouses. And here are the states with the most Amazon fulfillment centers. Of course, California, Texas, number one and two being the biggest states. Behind that, you've got New Jersey, Ohio, Pennsylvania, Illinois, Florida. Right, the average American spends 1.4 or 1400 a year on Amazon. All right now let's talk about this. What is it like to be an Amazon driver? The average is about 10 hours a day. And I want to highlight a couple things out of this article here. This was put out by Vice, Vice News. How I get by a week in the life of an Amazon delivery driver. What it's really like to deliver hundreds of packages a day. Now this article highlights a driver that says he makes $18.25 an hour, but he's away from home about 12 hours a day because he works about 10 hours and his commute each way is about an hour. So it's really taking a toll on his family life, on his marriage, he says. And he says he does about 160 something stops a day. And also it's reported here that Amazon is asking drivers now to work 12 hours a day and work extra hours, especially around the busier times and the holidays. But this driver re reveals something pretty interesting and says he likes being a driver because being in a warehouse, an Amazon warehouse, is even worse. Here's an example. One of his buddies, he says here, who works in a warehouse, just sat down. He was tired and sat down. One of the managers yelled at him, what are you sitting down for? Do you see anybody else sitting down? He got up and the guy literally took the chair and put it in the office that only the managers are allowed to go into and some of you may say well yeah you shouldn't sit down on the job uh, that's what breaks and lunches are for if you can't handle it don't work there many people would say that other people say that Amazon is driving people pushing people a little bit too hard but to get the best product and the best delivery and the best service and customer satisfaction many other people would argue that this is necessary for Amazon to do to become dominant and just like they're doing now they're the dominant player in retail and myself personally I have to admit I use Amazon I really like the shipping speed uh, here's a quick example I had one of my broadcast headsets break just a couple weeks ago and I really need that because I do a lot of my reporting just on my laptop just like the one I'm recording today and I ordered a new headset and it was here the next day, ordered it off Amazon. Uh, didn't have to go driving around to different stores. So yes, Amazon's big, they're dominant. Uh, many people say too dominant, but looks like they've earned uh, what they've become because uh, customers are satisfied and they keep coming back for more. So thanks for watching and support everybody. We're gonna wrap this up. Appreciate you being here. Let me know what you think. Amazon surpassing Walmart. Do you like Amazon? Are they too big? Um, what do you think? Thanks everybody for being here. Peace.